this video is to help you with number three on CR Helper number 28. It says which inequality displays the number line? And then they give you a number line and what they give you is up above or on the three they give you a shaded in circle and then an arrow going to the right and they want to know which of these statements means this in terms of a picture. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that you know what these symbols mean. This symbol means less than or equal to. This symbol right here means greater than or equal to. So we would read this x is greater than or equal to 3. This symbol right here means less than. So x is less than 3. This symbol right here means greater than. x is greater than 3. So now we have to say to ourselves, okay, when I look at this symbol, less than or equal to, is that an open circle or a closed circle? Here's the way I remember it. I remember when I draw less than or equal to, I need a little extra pen. So that means on the number line, I would draw my circle for my less than. I need a little extra pen here to do less than or equal to. So I'm going to need some extra pen here. So less than or equal to will be a closed circle. Similar with greater than or equal to. If I look at greater than or equal to, I need an extra pen for the or equal to. So the greater than part, I draw my circle. At or equal to extra pen, I need some extra pen. And I do something similar for less than. So then I look at less than. I say, okay, less than, I need an open circle. At that point, I needed no extra pen here. I need no extra pen here. So less than will be an open circle. Greater than, again, I look at greater than. I do my open circle. I didn't need any extra pen, so I don't need to shade it in. So less than is an open circle. Greater than is an open circle. So as I look here with closed circle, I know it's either less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So C and D do not have a shot. The less than or greater than would have been an open circle. It wouldn't have been shaded in. We include the three in our answer, which is why we shade it in. Then I look at these numbers. Well, I four, five, six, all of those numbers are bigger than three. So we need all of the X's that are greater than or equal to three. Another way, if your X is written first, you can always, as long as your variable is written first, you could draw a line up to there and it'll show you the way that the arrow will point. So less than or equal to, you'd be going that way with the closed circle. Greater than or equal to, again, as long as the variable is written first, you can just draw a little line up to that and it shows your arrows going to the right. So or equal to, it would be closed in, going to the right. Less than, <clears throat> again, as long as you have your symbol, your variable first, less than would be open circle to the left. And greater than, as long as your variable is written first, that's important then it would be an open circle to the right for greater than. Um, I've included a couple of visuals now just to, to help you out. So if you need, you can always pause the video, write down your symbol, your meaning, and whether it's an open or closed circle. And then I just included another visual, less than or equal to, as long as your variable is written first, it's going to be to the left with a closed circle greater than or equal to as long as your variable is written first, closed circle to the right, less than if your variable is first to the left, greater than if your variable is first going to the right. So hopefully that helps a little bit with less than or equal to, greater than or equal to on a number line.